622 days have passed since the Black Ferns were crowned world champions for a record-breaking sixth time. And today, they play their first match on home soil since the grand final. The Wallaroos travel to Hamilton for the first time in their history and are striving for another first with a win over the Black Ferns. No, my hi and my welcome into FMG Stadium for the second test in the two-match series for the Laurie O'Reilly Cup. <laughs> The challenge has been set by the Black Ferns. And this time a pick and go from the Rock and in the offload to Kennedy Simon. Crystal Murray heads up rugby. Now they go to the strong frame of Mikhail Tu'u. The Australian defence trying to roll around. They're going to try and go up the guts Tackle though, the Black away. Ferns. Australia. Stuck inside that ruck, they change direction, go to the left, Duplessis, well read in defence though. Again they go to the right hand side, looking at different options, but the yellow wall is holding up strong. Murray, Murray inches closer, she might be held up here. In fact it's over. First try for Crystal Murray in this game, and New Zealand take the early lead 5-0. Just great distribution skills, you saw earlier the little offload in contact, and then here she gets herself in position, takes it on herself to go through. She's got enough power and pace One to minute. open the scoring for the Black Ferns. Well, the Black Ferns, as she mentioned, their set piece is starting to go well, and they, the turnover from a very, very strong scrum, they've now got an advantage. Brilliant work by their four pack again. Numbers, Molly Apple scoops the ball up from her feet and scores. And what a fairy tale start to her resurgence in the black jersey. Patricia Molly Apple with the second try of the game. The young 20 year old bags her second try of her career, but you have to give the hats off to the scrum and the forwards that bowled over the, the Australian scrum. A little bit earlier, open up the space for the backs, and she goes straight and direct, gets over the line for the Black Ferns. Oh, me, me, me! Yeah. Oh, New Zealand have picked the pocket from the Wallaroo. Charmaine Smith got up and contested, and the man has put boots to ball. It's going to bounce brilliantly for Duplessis. Vahakula in the left hand corner. Well, they punished them at the line out time through Charmaine Smith, and they finished it out on the edge through their elusive backs. Brilliant work. Firstly, from the experienced Charmaine Smith, who wins that line out and just a little dab through there. Duplessis picks it up. Quick little pass minute, off to no. Bahakolo, and they're in with the corner, and everyone is out of their seats. Christina Sue. Oh, they certainly are celebrating that try, and why wouldn't you? Very selfless of Duplessis to give that ball, but the master class of demand. She can just see space. This time they change it up and go to Bremner, but still at the back of the line out nonetheless. Ponsonby gets the ball back in her hands. They've been absolutely crisp at set piece when it comes to line out the Black Ferns, and demand as she does so well, carries right to the line, ball in two hands, putting defenders in two minds. Again, Ponsonby swerves the hips, get away, gets away from the first defender. Murray, while she was coming in on an angled run from the right. Marina Tohino back to Bremner, who won the line out earlier. Tackle! Release! Tackle! She's just short of the line, couple metres. Murray puts the head down, looking for her second. Ball is there for Marina Tohino. Good work, thank you. Gives it away to Demant, goes with that deep pass. Duplessis, simple draw and pass, and Vahakolo is going to go bang, bang, and get her second test try in this game. So good to see them when they've got full rhythm going on. Look at this pass. The long ball there from Ruahe Demant. Quick ball from Duplessis, and Vahakolo now scores her second for the night. Again, they favour the back jumper. It's Bremner. They pull the ball away, though, and give it to Mikael Atul. Offload to Kennedy Simon. Two metres short now. Marina Tohino, line speed is good from the Wallaroos. Bremner still trying to muscle forward a metre short. 
But Ino Tohinu demand with that back deep pass to Brad. Brad has still got to keep going. And Brad is over. Longwe Polotu le Mapa Atai Sylvia Brad. And she does all the work for this one. She's been busy this whole half. And look at this. Bumps off one. Clear line to the try line. She finger up. She's happy with that one, Christina. As the hooter sounds here at FMG Stadium. 31-0 is the score here, and that is halftime in Hamilton. And while it's really been an onslaught for the Black Ferns, absolutely dominating here at the moment. Australia yet to score a point. 31 points to nil in the Laurie O'Reilly Cup. Black on the gap. Talakai to Oh, the ball in here. She's made the most tackles for the Wallaroos, 14. And unfortunately, they've Vanish, knocked that one. one board. So they have I'm rare opportunities the inside the Black Ferns' heart. And they've caught the ball up. So they'll be wanting to pin the Black Ferns down here with some strong defence. Vantage over. Vantage is over. Here goes that show and go from Brunt. Taking back. Duplessis tries to unleash Paul. Gets away from one, still going as Merirangi Paul. Well, she scored four tries in two games as Merirangi Paul, but it's going to be the Wallaroos now with ball in hand. Stewart, a rare touch. High tackle. High tackle Five. too, so another penalty early for the Wallaroos. I'm going to take the shot here. Interesting decision from the Wallaroos, but it was good to see the ball finally get in this player's hands, Maya Stewart. She's out of the Waratahs, she's got a plenty of power in place. She's explosive with the high shot there. Fractional. Real inspiration to many mothers out there, often juggling her trainings with her shift work as a policewoman. See her doing gym sessions at 3, 4 a.m. before her shift. Amazing athlete who deserves her black jersey again. And first points on the board for the Wallaroos through Karis Dullinger. For Hyatt. Manage. Gets it to Smith and Gorman's come off second best there. Just went high on Charmaine Smith. And again, Hohaya goes quickly, but she was just in front of the mark there. Hold on. Just time off. Yeah, time off. Now, Kat. Actions of 18 gold. They've gone up for the TMO, and it's a head-on head. And you know what that means? Could possibly be a red card here. Head-on-head head contact. She's just gone too high in that tackle, honey. One last angle for your cat. That is the point of contact. Head-on-head. 18 gold. High degree of danger, and there's no mitigation. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hey! A red card for Bridie O'Gorman in her 16th test match. <laughs> Dallinger puts the ball up high, tries to make it contestable. Got a good chase coming in from Stuart. The Bahakoro gets away from the first two defenders. Gets away as well. and acceleration from Vahakolo. They give it away now to Merirangi Paul. Backward. For higher. Finds Connor. Five metres out now. Here come the Blackburns. And Duplessis, she just was not expecting not that ball, but wow. Vahakolo, what a brilliant run. Well, if you want someone to galvanise a team, you got to do it this way, through Cayman Vahakolo. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, five, six. She just continues to keep going, does Vahakolo. Set! Five tries in the first half. None scored in the second. Use it has it. been a really tight contest. Mikaela Tu gives it to Pohaya Rosie Kelly from deep Mataele. She's going down. Again, really good work. By Wong just to chop her around the ankles. You don't want to give her acceleration, neither. Do you want to give acceleration to this woman right here? No space for her. Demet. 
again, just with the fake and then the ability to change to the other arm and put the other one out for a fan. Jenkins, Jenkins with the footwork. And that'll make loose forwards around the world all proud. Brilliant footwork coming in from Lucy Jenkins. And well deserved too, Lucy Jenkins. She's been busy defensively. Hardly any ball in hand, but when she gets it, this is what she does. She finds that try line for the Black Ferns. The Huda sounds here at FMG Stadium and Kitty Kitty Dorp. Crouch! There's a chair from the crowd complimenting Boys! their Black Ferns. Set. Rampant win here, 38 points to three. Testament to a strong first half and the scrum has been incredible. Lucy Jenkins thought she was in again, but it's a penalty. Ohio goes quickly. Can they finish with a bang? The Blackburns duplicy gets the pass away. Paul has Martha Elliott on her inside. On debut, Martha, Martha Elliott is going to put an exclamation mark on this Blackburns win and scoring a try on debut. What a dream. I mean, look at this, just the heads-up play, their ability to shift the ball so fast, so crisp, Merirangi ball, has a crack on the outside, finds Martha Matele, and look at it, get him for the last try of this match. The conversion attempt is away, so after a first-half blitz by the Blackburns, they get the win of 43 points to three over the Wallaroos. They've secured the Laurie O'Reilly Cup. A clean sweep, two from two, and a win over the Blackburns still eludes Australia. Final score, 43 points to three.